Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Has Michael Myers stalking Jamie, his young niece. So the positives on the film are the bandage mask for Michael Myers is actually pretty cool. Uh, he has bandages all around him and then he's in like a... Um... A... A, a patient's wardrobe. I thought that was actually kind of cool for the look. And it stands out as... Uh, a distinct look and certainly a distinct type of mask for Michael Myers, even though it's not the original mask like this in the typical in the uh, rest of the franchise. Even though they do have uh, the typical type of mask in the movie, uh, I think the kills are actually pretty good in the movie. Earl getting his neck ripped open—that's pretty cool. That's gory. Uh, the um. One of the guys who gets uh, uh, Michael Myers' thumb in their forehead, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the mechanic getting stabbed with a metal rod is pretty good. Uh, not gory, but I do think it actually is kind of cool. <clears throat> um, when, uh, uh, when, when Jamie and uh, the... Rachel... I think it's Rachel. When Jamie and Rachel are on the roof, uh, uh, that was kind of suspenseful, and that was pretty cool, so I really liked that. Uh, that that kind of stood out in the movie. And the last positive is the ending is actually kind of good, with Jamie supposedly now being the killer. Uh, I thought that I thought that was actually a kind of a cool twist in the movie. Where now she uh, supposedly killed someone, put on the mask, and has a knife uh, at the end of the film. And Dr. Loomis is like, no, no! Uh, I thought that was actually a pretty cool and uh, interesting way to end the movie. Now on to the negatives. Um, honestly, I think this movie is kind of boring. Uh, I'm not really too engaged with the movie or with the story. And uh, going along with that, uh, I think it's a bit too simple uh, of a story of just Michael Myers stalks Jamie, his niece. Uh, and with that, there's not really a lot, plot, lot of plot there. There's no really real character development with there. Nothing. It's they really just have to overcome Michael Myers, and nothing too personal. Uh, so it's just. Jamie and Rachel try trying to survive Michael Myers for the entire night. And I think that's kind of boring. Um, uh, and the last negative is uh, that blonde Michael Myers mask. That is terrible. You see it in like one shot. But uh, so apparently they forgot to uh, 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 dye the Michael Myers mask. Uh, hair brown uh, and they kept it as blonde by accident and so in the film you see Michael Myers for like two scenes or whatever two two moments where the hair is blonde and uh, that's just really weird <laughs> and, and like that's that's a mistake you would not think would happen like I don't even know how that would happen of like, okay, we're about to film the movie, we're about to film this scene, Michael Myers looks pretty good, uh, Michael Myers looks really good, uh, but, but, uh, he has blonde hair. So I was like, how did that get past, uh, the production? And even when they were editing the movie, it's like, you guys couldn't have, like, reshot that one scene with, with a normal Michael, Michael Myers mask and get rid of that blonde mask? That's just... That's really weird. Uh, but in the end, this movie is watchable, but I don't really think it's great. Like, I don't know, just... I, I feel like the plot is just really played out. I feel like the entire Halloween franchise is kind of just played out throughout most of the movies. Halloween 3 is so different and so unique that it's kind of refreshing to watch that even though I don't love that movie uh, I certainly think it's 
I don't know, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say Halloween 3 might be in the top five movies of the franchise. Like, if not, it might be at number five. So, which is still top five, I guess. But, um, but yeah, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, uh, I don't think it's great. I think it's just really repetitive, and I think most of this franchise is kind of really repetitive. So that's my review on Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Thanks for watching.